of shitting on a gravestone all the dick long day. Fuck! Let's get this high tech shit show underway, shall we? First things first, we're gonna need a seat. Oh, that'll do nicely. Next, and most importantly for this high tech production, we're gonna need the booze bucket. What do we got in here today? Oh, we got some things to review. Nice. I've had this idea for a little while about doing beer, whiskey, and jerky reviews. Some of my favorite things. Now, who doesn't love whiskey, beer, and jerky? I'll tell you what. I thought we started with this one because I saw this when I was out and I love the packaging. It's obviously Australian. I mean, look at the nuts on that kangaroo. Bloody Australia, mate. Hell yeah. Now, it's meant to be spicy. I'll tell you what, it looks good. I'm sure about the salting though. I reckon it's going to be pretty salty looking at that, eh? Before we test this and do a review, we've got to cleanse the palate. Right? We're going to start off with Ned Australian Whiskey. Now, forgive me, I'm doing this one-handed. So, let's see if we can do this without spilling a drop. Yes. The United States of America. Shut up. Yeah, it's a little bit more than a shot, this fella, but that's okay. So I guess we'll start with cleansing the palate with this Ned whiskey. I've never had it before. We'll give it a try. And I guess, what, are we going to rate it on a tits out of ten scale of some kind? Whether they be saggy tits or something like that? Let's have a whiff of it. Ooh. Yep, it smells like whiskey. All right, let's cleanse the palate. Cheers. Nail it, dude. Dude, nail it back. It ain't no candy. It's the real shit. Not bad, actually. Woody. But it's not like... It's not like charcoal -y like Jack Daniels. It's better. What is she talking about? I don't know. I'll, I don't know what the reference point is. We'll give it a tits out of ten. I mean, it's fucking good. All right, now we've cleansed the palate. Let's let's try this ring stinger jerky, shall we? Bloody beautiful. All right. Now yeah, there ain't no pansy, so we'll go for the big piece and we'll give it a good chew. So you're gonna sit there and listen while I chew on this. For a good while. Mm. She smells a bit right. Immediately hot. Now the bogan ain't afraid of a bit of spice, so if you say I got the balls, I've got the balls. Right. No worry to me. Plus, I got the backup. I mean, yeah. It's good. It's not normally what I look for in a jerky. Right? So, I like the sinewy. She smells a bit ripe, too. I'll tell you what. I like the sinewy, chewable. you got to be able to tear the fucker apart. Like... <laughs> Okay. I mean, it's got some bite. Not what I thought, but I mean, the packaging alone is a tits out of 10 because, you know, great with beer. 100% kangaroo. Absolutely. It's all right. I can't remember how much I paid for it, so this is, you know, this is a low budget production. But, and I'll tell you what, it doesn't smell real good. It smells fishy, like legitimately fishy. So we'll see, it might be a ring stinger and a fucking squirter too, so. 
I guess I'll give an update later on that. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, is there a fucking use-by date on this? <laughs> I mean, it's fucking jerky, so... It should outlast the end, but... I'll tell you what, she smells fishy. So that loses a tit there. So he's running on one tit, all right? She was running on nine tits. So... Flavour. It's not as salty as I thought. It's thin. <coughs> Making me sneeze. You know, it's not too spicy. <coughs> Fuck. I was expecting worse, I'll be honest. Saying something out of ring stinger. But yeah, it'll be good with beer. So let's do that now. Hard and super dry. <clears throat> I already know this is tits out of town. This is my everyday drink. But I thought I'd start with this reviewing thing with my favourite beer. Hell yes. Cheers, this one's for you cunts. Get on here, you larrikins. <sighs> Mint. Now, <clears throat> I love it. A good beer. It's got to be dry. You know? I hate all that fruity lager fucking shit. I don't mind a good ale. As long as it's not that wanky fucking... What do you call it? Oh, like those reds and... Uh, you know, fucking cool, idiots. Right. Brilliant. Anyway, as I was saying, before I got so rudely interrupted by a battery, uh, yeah, you know, 10 out of 10 for the packaging, tits out of 10 for the packaging, I mean, hilarious, I love it, that's bloody Aussie as. The jerky, I don't know, it's missing something, it's missing something, maybe some Worcestershire or something. It's not, uh, yeah, I mean, it's spicy enough. I'm sweating under the eyes, but it's not like going to kill you. I mean, can you see that? I hope that camera's focusing. I mean, I'm just holding my phone, so. There you go, look at that. It smells funky. Don't like the smell. All right, so you lose a tit there. So we're at eight tits. I mean, the meat is kangaroo meat, so it's going to be tough, which is what you want out of a jerky. The good thing is you can chew it. You know, meat chewing gum, that's what fucking jerky should be. You should be able to sit in your mouth and chew it for a good bit. So you can do that. So you keep your tits there. So I guess the packaging... The meat, you know, you lose, oh, we've lost the two tits, so you're at eight. Eight tits. That's pretty fucking good. Anyway, you bloody larrikins, I'm going to do all this, drink whiskey, beer, and eat uh, kangaroo jerky and split firewood. Before I forget, just down the road from where I'm at is a place called Safala, historic gold mining town. Now, they've got a jerky competition. The Great Australian Bloody Jerk Off. And I'm going to put the information up here now. And uh, the Bill Hilly's going to be there. So we'll hope you, hopefully I'll see you down there for some beer, history, and some fucking jerking off. Hell yeah, brother. So anyway, you larrikins, have a good one. Happy fucking New Year's. And uh, yeah, go out and enjoy yourself. Live life to its fullest. Alrighty, till next time, cheers.